Millie Bobby Brown hit the big time when she starred as the instantly iconic super-powered preteen Eleven in Netflix's 80s sci-fi series Stranger Things. Much like her character, she has some serious challenges ahead of her, except Brown has to navigate the real world of fame and celebrity as a child actor rather than battle mysterious monsters from the upside down. Here's why her child star status can be just as scary. Baby Big Shot Gaining immediate fame can definitely warp a kid's sense of reality and their sense of right and wrong. While Brown, who snagged an Emmy nomination at age 13, appears to be keeping her wits about her, she's still a child, and all youngsters make mistakes. You have to pay for those! Stop right there! Thief! Thief! The only difference is that her mistakes could have dire repercussions that potentially affect her career, her health, and her reputation. Regarding Brown's future as a superstar, her Stranger Things co-star David Harbour told Variety, I'm leery of blowing too much smoke. Because I do feel that when I'm in the nursing home, I would like to be able to watch movies with her in her 30s and have her become Meryl Streep. She has the potential for that to happen. Addicted to Acting Though Brown may only be a teenager, she's no stranger to taking on heavy responsibilities. Besides playing the lead character on Stranger Things, Brown's also set to star in a major film franchise, Godzilla King of the Monsters. As if that weren't enough, Brown is also expected to both produce and star in the film adaptations of Nancy Springer's Enola Holmes Mysteries. She told Interview Magazine in 2016 that she has workaholic tendencies. It's like I crave it, and when I get on set, it's not just that I love what I do, I love meeting new people. It's really nice to go to work every day. Brown is still far too young to have to worry about holding down a job, so here's hoping she can find the time to be a kid too. Growing Pains Puberty is an awkward time for everybody, but it's even worse for young adults when they're thrust into the spotlight, where fans and haters alike can follow their every move. Brown experienced this in a major way when her first ever kiss was broadcast to the whole world, courtesy of Stranger Things. And it's not like Brown and her co-star Finn Wolfhard were the only ones around when they filmed their big scene. Speaking to Variety, she noted, "...having 250 people looking at you kissing someone is like, whoa." The reaction to it was really funny. Yeah, I got up and then I said, "Kissing sucks," and then yeah. Finn was like, "Finn was like, oh, oh, that wasn't too bad." You can't help but wish she could have snagged her first smooch with a real-life sweetheart, not with her coworker. Puppy love in the press. While her first kiss may have been for the camera, Brown has since sparked a romance with another Hollywood up-and-comer, Jacob Sartorius. The two were first linked in October 2017 after Brown shared a photo of the singer in her Instagram stories. If and when things go sour for Brown and Sartorius, the typical teenage drama that they'll experience will surely be examined under a microscope, with every Instagram, tweet, and snap inspected for clues about their breakup. At a time when kids are just starting to show interest in dating, they don't need to have their private lives publicized. Racking up the miles Traveling can take a toll on anybody, but for a child, not being able to stay in a single spot during one's developmental years can prove especially rough. As to be expected with her major acting jobs, Brown is always traveling. Speaking to her friend and fellow star Maddie Ziegler for a piece in interview, Brown said she basically lives on an airplane. I don't really live anywhere at the moment. I lived in LA for a while and I kind of live in LA now. I live in England to do stuff. I lived in Atlanta. I could possibly be moving back there, so I kind of live everywhere. While Brown may be okay with constantly traveling for now, it wouldn't be surprising to hear that she's grown sick of not having a permanent place to call home. Hello to the haters. These days, a social media presence is a must-have, especially for celebs trying to connect with fans. That said, social media can have seriously damaging effects on pubescent youngins who may already be predisposed to self-esteem issues. Harper told the Daily Mail that he is concerned about his co-star, who's growing up in an age where people are preoccupied with getting likes and followers. She is in the crosshairs of something extremely dangerous that nobody seems to be paying attention to. I think the developing mind of someone who gets this famous and has still a brain that is not fully developed is an extremely difficult thing to navigate, and I hope that she gets the help that she needs. Listen, Protecting listen, her?! Listen to me. The more people know about her, the more danger she's in. Given that Brown previously celebrated snagging 11 million followers on Instagram and as the making of this video boasts more than 15 million, she definitely appears to place a huge importance on social media. Hopefully, as she gets older, she'll be able to separate herself from her online accounts. After all, she's a person, not an Instagram handle. And definitely not just a number. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.